ओके हेलो एवरीबॉडी रजनी अगेन वेलकम टू द प्रीमियम चैनल सो वी आर नाउ डूइंग एकेडमिक कॉन्सेप्ट्स वीक ऑन वीक वी हैव बीन टॉकिंग अबाउट वेरियस एकेडमिक कॉन्सेप्ट्स सो लास्ट वीक वी डिड मैथ कॉन्सेप्ट्स ऑफ एडिशन एंड सबट्रैक्शन फ्रॉम वन मोर टू नाइन मोर एंड वन लेस टू नाइन लेस या सो नाउ टुडे we let us uh, okay let us talk about uh, some more math concepts yeah i would uh, before we move to tens and ones as a concept yeah uh, i would like to take up some more concepts which um, are required at a uh, younger age for the kid yeah so we can we can park the tens and ones for now and we can look at these concepts okay so you could prepare books like um, these that we have made they they are very sturdy and uh, you know sometimes a kid is throwing a tantrum is wanting to fold the edges of the book or bite it or tear it so all the effort you know of making a book or probably if you've got something from the market best while you're working with a kid on the spectrum and you are also behavior correcting the kid is to do a laminated oh uh, you know thing with sheets all bound by the um, spiral binding so then the kid can do nothing neither the kid can chew it if the kid folds it still it nothing can be harmed yeah so i always believe in doing these because that saves you a lot of effort so you could do that so today we are going to be taking up uh, first the concept till um, number identification 20 okay so uh, you could do something like this so again like in the previous videos that we have said do tangible so you can do uh, you know uh, big numbers you can take wooden numbers you can take glitter numbers just show me the glitter numbers so i can show that also so you can take the glitter numbers and you can put them together so that the kid understands okay this is after 10 11 12 uh, 13 yeah so you could create numbers like these uh, in fact this is just for demo purpose so so if suppose you have to make a 17 don't make it like this you know you make it like i mean i'm not trying to find from here uh, so just understand so suppose these were joined underneath yeah like i didn't cut them in a way so then you keep this and then you keep this so here the identification becomes uh, very easy yeah so suppose uh, okay Now I can't find a seven here anyway. Uh, just imagine that this was seven. Okay, so if you put single here and you put seventeen here, you say which is seventeen? Now where is seventeen? Which is seven? Which is seventeen? So like this. So like this, you can do uh, identification of numbers till twenty. Then you uh, this is another way. So what we have done is uh, you just written here and then you have numbers over here. So for simple identification, so if it is here, you can and kids love these games, you know. So you say, okay, match. So the, you have spread them. The kid picks up and puts it here. All right, and then you know you go match. So like we have already used it with the kids, so they've been arranged. You can keep these on the table, and you can say, okay, match. So starting from one to twenty, or even more for that matter, twenty to thirty, and. the kid will look at all the numbers and say okay so like this even 30 to 40 whatever you are doing like this this can be an activity where you are doing the matching bit with the kid okay then uh, putting them in the proper order okay so you could create something like this so again if you remove all these and you jumble them up then this one was for identification of numbers and this is just an example till 20 you can take till any number this is for arranging them in the right order yeah so you could do activities like this simply when we give a copy and pen and we say okay now you write down and kids become copy and pencil and the kids become irritated that no, i don't want to write yeah so you can just make it interesting you can have wooden numbers you can have magnetic numbers and you can put one number behind the other or you can you know on the fridge or on the table that makes it interesting for the child yeah so like 11 to 20 so it's like a necklace and the kid has to put so they learn the order of things you could do 
20 to 30 and now this is again this is a test for your value count which is what we did earlier so you can keep you can make one such thing as a chart and you can keep it and then you can you know you can keep uh, things um, you know marbles toys certain things and put as many in the circle and then you can write any number over here to test so suppose you've written seven so in the various various so you here you have written seven in the square box and then at every place they have to put seven raisins, seven cashews, seven almonds, seven something. So that's that's for testing the because you don't want them to be losing the um, you know the uh, concept of value count also. So while you are doing uh, certain other concepts like for uh, you know before, after, and all others, then you could even in between. So uh, if, this is not a random order. Like obviously if I'm saying that you do addition which we did in the previous video this would have been done these are just additional ideas I'm giving you yeah so if if you if you are somebody whose kid is not you know till 20 and is still 50 you could use these ideas is what I'm saying they are different ideas and then again this idea now this here as you see is for teaching them transition of numbers now what is transition of numbers from 9 after 9 will be 10 1 and 0 then after 10 will be uh, um, sorry after 19 will be 20 so what you can do is cut these small you know 1 and 2 suppose this was very small okay so then you would go let's pick up a 1 from here yeah 1 so first in this sheet you would go suppose this was very small okay assume this is small 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And you say 9 cut down, finish. 9's turn is over. Then here 9 and then you say now 1's turn is here. So 1 and 0, that makes it 10. 1 and 1, 11. So you keep moving the 1 alongside 12, 13, 14 and you place it here at 9. So you say 1 and 9 is 19 and you circle it. And then it goes up and then you say okay now 19 after 19 is 2 and 0, 20. After 19, 20. Similarly, after 29, then you pick up. So, like, have a smaller piece of this, like I said. So, like this, 30. 3 and 0, 30. So, the child learns transition like this. Okay. So, uh, you can, uh, you know, the, the, the problem of what comes after 29, what comes after 79, what comes after 89. So, if you do it like this, like this. It is just about one session and the kid will know and they will know how to do uh, the transition of numbers. Okay, so another concept here I will tell you from this book is after, before, in between. So just like and that is why making these books is very handy because suppose you know I will just pick up these. So these are the strips you have made you know these the small flashcards you make them once and you can use them for and the number of things you can use them for so many concept teaching yeah okay so i've picked up a couple of them so now if you see we are doing in between and the in between color is also the same yeah these these are just been kept here you can keep them away so if you are teaching after like generally we start with teaching after what comes after yeah so if you are teaching after, these have just been randomly placed here. Now I will show you. So if you are doing after, what comes? After. Yeah. Yeah. So you say what comes after. Now that is in green. After. This is also in green. And now you will put any number. Let's, let's see. What comes after? Now you can put any number if your kid is doing from 1 to 10. So you can put after 9. So I just picked up random numbers to show you. So after 19 is 20. Very good. After 20 is. So you can give enough practice like this. It becomes very touch and feel. It becomes an activity. And um, I don't have, I haven't pulled out a 21. So like that. Yeah. Assume this is 21. So you have to 20 is 20. Like this. So you can keep these over here. Like this if you practice enough. And then immediately give it in the copy. The kid will learn it. Now similarly when you are doing a before. 
for doing before you will also do it on the floor just like i said in the subtraction so you make the kid jump backwards backwards on the stairs okay get them to rot learn and you can do so if you're doing before what comes before yeah and the color of before is the same as the color of the arrow now everything here is technical and scientific why because he is reading it before and the mind is making a mental picture the yellow color yeah so before so you're going backward so if you're saying what comes before 19 before 19 you can place any number here you can place a 75 also you can place a 3 also depending upon where your kid is so what comes before 19 is 8 so if you play this game long enough they will 100% for sure they will know before after and in between the trick is after you do it like this do it in the notebook for sure and then what comes in between in between and then you will place two numbers over here 17 and 19 so intuitively the kid learns the in between concept so using this board you can very easily teach children uh, the concept of before after in between also Please don't forget to go to the park and play, you know, especially uh, with the kid. Not specially, spatially, space. Spatially with the kid, with these concepts, you know, um, you can have two, three kids and you say, after this, this one is standing. Before this, so it, it can be a line. So before this, you know like that if you don't have access to kids there aren't too many in your society or whatever in that case uh, you could do it with pictures so take pictures of family members and then place them in a way and then after daddy is mama before daddy is uh, name your kid or whoever you know like this so when you do concepts like these uh, they really get it fast that right? you know after means going that side and before means uh, the back side yeah so like this you can teach the concept of after before and in between to kids on the spectrum also the number uh, series till 100 and beyond i gave you ideas of how you can do it yeah so uh, when i was just talking to you about uh, this where i was showing you with bigger numbers the transition you need to have a number so small yeah so like this mm -hmm. i haven't placed it right here so one and one 11 and then this one keeps moving one and two 12, like this one cut small numbers like this and the kid will get it the more uh, you know touch and feel and montessori you will make it uh, the more the kid will like we have sticking all of this using the blue tag yeah so i hope um, this gave you enough ideas so you can work around the early number concepts with your children for more concepts now we we'll meet next week